Hello, I'm Dr. Zimmerman and I'm going to talk about the Zimmerlab Windor script. First, I'm going to explain the replacement of the free version that comes inside our doors and windows. And that is no transfer by default and has to be replaced by a copy transfer version of the script. And after that, I'm going to talk a bit about the use of the full version of our script. So I've made this uh, little house here um, and I'm going to place a door inside. This is the door G and I'm going to result the provider. Zimbala products normally come in a provider which has all these buttons at the left where you can choose what you want to use from the elements that uh, has the product. For now, I'm going to take just the main folder and this gives me all these doors. Um, Doors come scripted and not scripted. So I will have to use a scripted version. It has the word scripted in the name. I'm going to res it. And I'm going to place this one in my, uh, in my building. Like that. And I have to adjust this texture quickly. So like that. So now I'm going to link everything together. The whole house, I link it. And I've called it my house. Now, if I'm going to take it now into my inventory, we can see it here and it says no transfer. And this is because of the script that's inside and that is no transfer by default. So I'm going to raise it out again. So here's the, the house. So if you look inside the door, you will see here's the script and this script is no transfer. We have to replace this script by a copy transfer one. And therefore I have to go back to the provider to the script section over here. So I click the script button, it gives me a folder with dorg script. And in here I have the window script box. This is the box I need. In this box we will find the copy transfer version of our script. Now, when I res it, there's this red text um, above it. This is a protection for our script. You have to change the next owner permissions to get rid of this uh, red text. So I'm going to open the box. I'm going to the script, which is here, and I'm going to properties. Clicking properties, and here I have next owner permissions. And I have to remove one of those two copy or transfer. So I will remove the transfer one. And now you can see that the red text is gone. Now this script is ready for me to use. So I'm going to my inventory and I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call this um, Zimbalap my script. And in this folder, I'm going to place this, uh, this script like that. So this is now my window script that I'm going to use for all my Zimbalab products, windows and doors. So how does this work? We have the door here. I'm going to edit linked inside the door. I'm going to delete this script. Delete. I'm going to take the one that I've made here, my script and put it inside. If I take now the build in my inventory, we're going to see my house is here now and it's transfer. Uh, the procedure of changing the next owner perms only has to be done once and it will work for every Zimbal app product that you have. So I'm going to show this by raising out two other products. So I have a door and a window here, which are scripted. This is important to have a scripted one. They have to have the name scripted inside. The same here, there are no transfer. As you can see, both are no transfer. I have to go inside the door. And again, replace the script that's in here with my script that I have here.
and it will work again as you can see and even so by the windows it's always the same script because in fact the configuration is stored at the description as you can see here this is the configuration of the script the script itself never changed so i just have to replace this one with my script and it's a double window so there are two scripts delete and replace it with my script again you will see this is working without any problem and then i can take those two in the inventory and you will see those are transfer with the free version of the script you can't change configuration but you can change the access settings this is done by menu you have to slide the mouse at the door to open the menu and here you get these uh, options to change the access settings and you can close it by the finish button um, with the product comes a texture it's called how to access the menu and this shows um, how this works and you can include this texture with your product because uh, your customer will be able to change these uh, access settings as well i'm going to open the menu again and here i can now everybody has uh, access to the door i can take off everyone now it's only group and owner or i can take off group now it's only the owner who will be able to uh, use this door in addition we can put names on the note card so i have finished this and the note card is inside the door this is this one, the access list note card. And here I can place names. I'm going to place a few. And they have to be separated by a comma. So I have a comma. And place the scripter's name. Comma. Now for my friend Richard007. He has only... Oh, Rich, Richard. He has only one. Uh, single name um, and then it has to be followed by the word resident oh it's important to say that these are uh, official names legacy names the the names of your account not the display names that you can change so same for Sadie she only has one name as well so I'm going to place the word resident after it saving a note card and these people will have access to the door in addition to the access settings.